Kyle Austin, Mike Griffith here after a pretty lengthy Michigan State press conference. They're just not letting him, they're just not letting Kyle in. He wore blue. D'Antonio didn't like I'm that. I'm sporting the corporate logo. Okay. But uh, we talked a lot of Michigan, a lot of questions today. Did we learn anything we don't already know? Well, you know, it was interesting to watch Mark D'Antonio. He, he looked like a guy on trial. I mean, every <laughs> question he was thinking very carefully about what he said and considering who was asking the question. I mean, clearly... Mark D'Antonio trying to keep the lion in the cage, as he says. Mm-hmm. Doesn't want any emotion to come out right now. Nothing inflammatory here from Michigan State. Um, and I guess that's kind of the news. Is Michigan State's basically saying, hey, we don't care if we're favored by 15 points. Nothing changes. Same intensity from them. Yeah, same same from the players, really. You know, they, They're really not trying to give any bulletin board material. I think there might have been a time in this drive where Michigan State did kind of feel like it had to poke the bear you know, a little bit. But I, I think that time is gone. Um, they still do feel like the underdogs, though. I'm not sure how legitimate right. that is. They're always favored by 15 points. They, they say they have that mentality, though. Um, I think they're going to need that. You know, They still have to feel like they're the dominant program in the state and we're the underdog. Here. Right. So that's well, really not true. Well, and, you know, Michigan's had a bye week, and Michigan has a lot to play for, too. I mean, you got a coaching staff over there that's pretty much coaching for their jobs, Kyle. Right. So they're going to do everything they can to motivate Michigan. And, you know, Michigan State, on the other hand, has to be careful – uh, you know, not to not to look past Michigan, as crazy as that sounds. Yes, it's a big rivalry and it means a lot, but let's face it, that Ohio State game is probably the biggest hurdle between Michigan State uh, and the college football playoff at this point. Right. Now, everything we heard today will lead you to believe that they're not looking past this game. This right. is still super important to them. Um, but, you know, that's sitting up here. You know, whether would they come out on Saturday. I do think there's something to what you said is Brady Hoke is still a popular coach with his players. With everything that's happened to him, he's still very popular with his players. If they feel like that they're playing for his job, I mean, that's something that Michigan State doesn't have, doesn't match. So that I, I think that could be a factor. Right, and, and I think that's why Mark D'Antonio is being very careful not to provide any bulletin board material. He knows how he's used the things that Michigan State has said in the past. Someone mm-hmm. actually said to D'Antonio today, hey, have you changed? Because when you first came here, you were locking horns and saying this about Michigan and after the Mike Hart comments, and D'Antonio said no. I haven't changed. I've just become more civilized. So I, I think he's just being more careful mm-hmm. now that he's on this side of the robbery. Uh, you know, his 5-2 and two record, Kyle, the best of any coach in Michigan State football history. But his challenge now is not to lose that edge. And I think that was the name of the game of the press conferences for him and the players today. Don't lose that edge and that chip on the shoulder. It's kind of a microcosm, I think, of their overall. Obviously, they're defending Rose Bowl champions. We talked in the preseason. Are they going to lose that edge? Um, it's kind of a little mini bit of that, I think, in this rivalry. I don't think we've seen them really lose that edge so far. That They haven't been super sharp at some points. That's but, right. It's not like um, they've been dominant all season. They haven't I mean, been, they been dominant. They got out of Purdue, got within a touchdown, Nebraska. I, don't think, I mean, this team's got its... Yeah, I don't think they've been complacent either. Um, I, I don't know. It's hard to say. We'll find out Saturday. But I, I think Michigan certainly could have a little bit more motivation if you look at it from that side. I, I don't think Michigan State would agree with that, but um, it is what it is, I guess. Well, we'll have plenty more to write and talk about on MLive. Uh, follow us on MLive.com, uh, Spartans page, and uh, you'll see a lot more that Kyle and I will write about today and some background, some stories on some of the Michigan State guys that were here at the press conference.